Today on MTG Unpacked, we're snacking on a bunch of tasty packs for patrons. We have three packs of War of the Spark, Commander Legends, and two packs of Ikoria. So let's introduce the patrons today. We have Eric Cook, Kao Pastor and Trindade, hopefully I pronounced that right, Devin Wise, Sundance Kid, and finally Caitlin Stark. Thank you all for being patrons. Okay, so we're going to grab two War of the Spark here, one for Ko there, Devon is after two packs of Ikoria, and then Sundance Kid, two Commander Legends, and Caitlin Stark. Alright, let's get into it. Starting off here with Ko, thank you for being a patron, and as you can see, brand new patron, gets his signed Jackalope Herd there. And the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Okay, starting off here with Ironclad Crovod, Ashiok Skulker, Kaya's Ghost Form, Return to Nature, Jaya's Greeting, Hello there, Unlikely Aid, Avon Eternal, Sarkhan's Catharsis, Bloom Hulk, Sahili's Silverwing, Invade the City for the Uncommons, Liliana's Triumph, Angrath, Captain of Chaos, I'll chuck him in as well, he's your Planeswalker. And the rare is Parhelion 2, Legendary Artifact Vehicle 558, with Flying First Strike and Vigilance. Whenever it attacks, create two 4-4 four, four White Angel creature tokens with Flying and Vigilance that are attacking. You can crew it for four. And a Forest and Wolf token. Alright, moving on here to Caitlin Stark, thank you for being a patron. So getting stuck into some Commander Legends, alright. What do you think of this set? Is it your favourite among the sets in this video? Let me know in the comments. We have Wild Celebrants, Scrap Diver Serpent, Molder Beast, and I'm really trying to avoid the X-Files joke there. Goblin Trailblazer, Creature Goblin Pirate, very nice. Preordain, Bitter Revelation, Palace Sentinels. Farhaven Elf, Eye Blight Massacre, Ancestral Blade, Fertilid, Benevolent Blessing, Amorphous Axe, and the Uncommon's Ingenuity Engine, Cast Down, I remember that one, that was a good one back in the day, Grafted War Gear, and a Mythic! Holy crap! Oh my god, look at this Vampiric Tutor! Yes, it's a Mythic, it's an instant for a single black. Search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. You lose two life. I think we picked a good pack for you, Caitlin. Chuck that there. I'll also give you the legendaries. We have Hamza, Guardian of Arishin, along with Al Haru, Solemn Ritualist. You also get a foil, trusty pack beast. And you are the monarch indeed with a mythic like that. Let's highlight that like so. Enjoy the pulls there, Caitlin. Okay, next up, so we'll tuck these in here for Kayu actually, forgot about those. Okay, Ikoria, Devon Wise, you're up next sir, thank you for being a patron. So see what wild and weird creatures we can get today. We have Spontaneous Flight, Startling Development, Forbidden Friendship, Solid Footing, Durable Coil Bug, Fertilid, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, Farfinder, Cloud Piercer, and the Uncommons Weaponize the Monsters. I am ambivalent about that, really, it could go either way. Proud Wild Bonder, nothing as touching as a Pokemon, and its trainer, Boneyard Lurker Showcase. And the rare is Inspired Ultimatum Sorcery for a buttload of mana, target player gains high life. Inspired Ultimatum deals 5 damage for any target, then you draw 5 cards with a Scoured Barons and Human Soldier. Okay, not too bad, but I think we can do even better on the second pack. Starting off with Gust of Wind, Survivor's Bond, Blitzleech, Essence Symbiote, Raking Claws, Evolving Wilds, Fantastic Pole, not really, Memory Leak, I forgot it already, Essence Scatter, 
Greater Sandworm, Call of the Death Dweller for the Uncommons, Insatiable Hemophage, Stormwild Caprador, also known as the Derpy Bird Goat, and the rare, oh nice one, Garuda, Doom of Depths, Legendary Creature, Demon Kraken, 6646 six, mana with companion you're studying that contains only cards with even converted mana costs. And when Gay Ruder enters the battlefield, each player puts top four cards of their library into their graveyard. Put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Some nice milling action there. And I actually did a deck tech on this guy a while back. I'll chuck a link in the corner in case you missed it. And a foil fertilid. Along with a Plains and Human Soldier. Alright, so there we are. Devon. Pop those in there for you. Next up, Eric Cook. Two packs of War of the Spark. Can we get a Mythic Planeswalker? Preferably a Liliana or Teferi. Okay, we have Teferi's Time Twist. Arncrop Invader. Bulwark Giant. Crush Descent. Force Landing. Shriek Diver, Zombie Bird Warrior, Arboreal Grazer, Herald of the Dread Horde, oh, excuse me, Herald of the Dread Horde, there's not even any goblins so far, or just the one, I should say, Prismite, Giant Growth, and Uncommon's Death Sprout, Bond of Insight, oh, but Nixilis the Hate Twisted, okay, so you're not going to get a Planeswalker in this slot, but you do get an Assets Reversal, not bad at all, instant for two, Copy target instant or sorcery spell, then return it to its owner's hand. You may choose new targets for the copy. And a planes and zombie army. All right. War of the Spark up next. See if we can beat that first pack. That was an okay pack, but you know, we can do better. We have Raging Crunch. Gideon Sacrifice. Poor, poor Gideon. And actually we pulled, uh, what was that card, Rest in Peace or something the other day? I forget the name of it, but it had uh, the Gideon statue. You know the story, people. Teferi's Time Twist, and if you don't, spoiler, Grim Initiate. Whoa, and Scale Croc, he'll bite your whole body off, watch out. Dustmantle Operative Band Together. Gateway Plaza, Trusted Pegasus, Arlen's Wolf. And Uncommon's Angras Rampage, Godfrow's Statue. Watley, the Sun's Heart, and Dreadhorde Invasion, Enchantment for two at the beginning of your upkeep. You lose one life and amass one. Whenever a zombie token you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains lifelink until end of turn. Did anyone hear about the uh, token limit they're putting in MTG Arena? What do you think about that? Gotta keep those scoot bugs under control, apparently. And an island and zombie army. Let's chuck that in so you can start growing your zombie army, Eric. Okay, and then finally we have two packs of Commander Legends here for Sundance Kid. Thank you, Finger Patron. So I think it's going to be tough to beat what Caitlin has there. But you know, there is one card that would definitely do it. So let's keep our eyes peeled. We have Dragon Mantle, Kite Sail Skirmisher. Jalum Tome, Makeshift Munitions, you sir, are a fake goblin, Avon Surveyor, Core Cartographer, Silverback Shaman, Sears Lantern, Eye Blight Colors, Fiery Cannonade, what, what am I skipping, Sky Whaler's Shot, probably should have skipped it, Path of Ancestry, Workshop Assistant, and the Uncommons Pennon Blade, Arcane Signet, there's a nice one. Chuck that over there for you, sir. Ordeal of Nylea. And the rare is Necrotic Hex. It's a sorcery for seven. Each player sacrifices six creatures. You create six tapped 2-2 two -two black zombie creature tokens. You also get Falthus Shadow Cat Familiar, the Nightmare Cat, along with Aromi of the Dead Tide. And a foil Fathom Fleet Sword Jack. With a Monarch token. Okay, you can be the Monarch today as well, Sundance Kid. Although you might have to fight for it with Caitlyn there. But she has the Vampiric Shooter, so I'm not sure who would win in that fight. Next up, we have Blade Brand, Crimson Fleet Commodore. Sailor of Means, Soul's Might. Boarding Party. Deranged Assistant. Charcoal Diamond, Viscera Seer. Souls Fire, Kinsbale Courier, 
Wild size, nice one, Rupture Spire, Natural Reclamation, and the Uncommons we have Volcanic Dragon, Daring Saboteur, Imperious Perfect, I'll chuck that in anyway, I think it's under a buck at this point, and the rare is Elvish Dreadlord, Creature Zombie Elf 3 3 for 5 with Death Touch, and I almost read that as when Elvis Dreadlord dies. I think that's probably a better name. Non-elf creatures get minus three, minus three into end of turn. Encore for five and two black. So you pay that exile this card from your graveyard. And for each opponent, create a token copy that attacks that opponent this turn if able. They gain haste, suck them at the beginning of the next end step. Activate only as a sorcery. You also get Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, Legendary Creature, Goblin Pirate. And Captain Vargas Wrath for an Orc Pirate. Along with a Foil Blade Brand and treasure token okay so there we have it and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more magic gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there thanks for watching and have a great day